What is going on everybody? How's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tomashi Nation's Iron Man 2 SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 6 Limited Edition Black and Gold Version Iron Man Figure. <laughs> today i just got this figure in the mail today fresh from japan really glad it finally came in it took about three weeks to get to me but really happy that it came in the mail today this is the uh black color version limited edition it's not like a san diego comic-con uh edition it's just a regular limited edition by tamashi nations there is also the normal version where he's where the where the black is it's red and then it's a different color gold this one is more of like a uh, lighter gold it seems like to me but uh, it's actually in a different style of packaging as well. There's no window to show the figure. It just says Iron Man 2 right there, Marvel right there. And then it just shows a picture of the figure right there. It says SH Figure Arts there, Iron Man Mark VI, black color version, SH Figure Arts. Tamashi Nations 2013. Then over here it says Tamashi Nations Bandai. The barcode at the bottom, the top says SH Figure Arts. And the side of it says Tamashi Nations 2013, SH Figure Arts, Iron Man Mark VI, black color version. And it says the same thing on the other side. And then the back of the packaging right there doesn't show anything of the figure just has a little design on it and says Tomash Nations with their symbol and then 2013 and then there's a random sticker on it from the company I bought it for but anyway that is the packaging let's get into the figure review Alrighty, so starting off with accessories first, as you can see the Iron Man figure actually comes with a decent amount of accessories, it comes with the same amount that comes with the red and gold version uh, figure arts Iron Man figure, he comes with 8 interchangeable hands, he comes with the 4 flaps, and then the 6 effect pieces right here, and for the flaps, he comes with a pair of each of them, this one goes on the back of his legs right on his calf, it looks more like a black plastic this one right here, but to interchange it, it's right around here as you can see you get your fingernail up under this piece and you would just pop it off and then you would just pop this piece on right here so it looks like he has his leg flaps out so that's pretty cool he comes with a pair of those then he also comes with a pair of the shoulder ones they got a cool little uh, paint and sculpt going on there too and to interchange those right here you get your fingernail under this piece and just pop it off be careful with it you don't want to scratch anything and then you would just pop these pieces on so then it looks like he has his shoulder flaps out too. So that's pretty cool that they included those. I never really posed my Iron Man figure with those, but it's cool that Tamashi Nations included them. And then also we get these uh, blast effect pieces. These are for his feet for when he's uh, flying around so you can get him in cool flight poses. See the peg right there. It's a um, yellowish-orange translucent plastic with a little bit of white at the end right there. But right here with the peg, you just peg it into the bottom of his feet, like so. And they don't, like, fall out really easily or anything, so that's pretty cool. He comes with a pair of those, so you can peg them into the bottom of his feet. And then he also comes with ones for his hands. And this one's for flight posing, the smaller one. And same thing, they're a uh, yellowish-orange translucent plastic with a little bit of white on the end as well. And the hands that have the pegs in them is for the uh is for this one and for the uh repulsor blast one whoops and it fits in there nicely it's not going to fall out or anything so that's cool and then he also comes with a pair of the repulsor blast ones so where he's like shooting a blast or something and it's a nice uh yellowish orange translucent plastic with a little bit of white at the end as well and then just like the other one whoops just like the other one you just Peg it in with his hand right there with the peg on it, and it looks pretty cool. And it's really cool when you have him pose with both of these. It's really cool uh, pose to get the figure in. And then for the hands, he comes with eight interchangeable hands. He comes with a pair of the fists right here, just sculpted and painted nicely. You see the repulsor right there that's painted silver. And every time you change the hand, you have to take this piece off. And whatever hand you have your figure posed with, you just pop the piece right back on. And these ones stay on a lot better than the Mark VI Iron Man figure. But he comes with a pair of fists, as I just showed you. And then he comes with a pair of these hands, the uh, 
open palm blast hands that have the pegs in them, which are for these effect pieces. You sculpt it and paint it nicely as well. And that's where you would put that uh, piece I was just talking about when you interchange the hands. And then he also comes with a pair of the open, I guess, resting hands, I guess. Because I don't think, these aren't uh, like open palm blast hands. You see how where you would peg it in, it's on an angle right there. These ones aren't on an angle, so you can't really get it up like he's shooting a blast or something. These ones are, are meant for that because it's on an angle, but this one isn't. So he comes with those, and it's cool. You see the uh, repulsor right there that's painted silver, so that's pretty cool. And then he also comes with a pair of karate chop hands. So uh, painted and sculpted nicely. Uh, the repulsor's painted um, silver. So that's pretty cool. You get those eight interchangeable hands. That is all the accessories that comes with the Iron Man Mark VI figure. Anyway, let's move on to comparisons. Alrighty, so now moving on to comparisons. The Iron Man Mark VI figure, he stands at 5 inches and 3 quarters of an inch tall, which I think is actually great for 6 inch figures. Then over here we have the McFarlane Walking Dead Rick Grimes figure, he stands at 5 inches tall. Then over here we have the SH Figure Arts Picado figure, he stands at 6 inches tall, so you can tell he's a little bit taller than Iron Man. Then over here we have the Marvel Legends Daredevil figure, and he's a little bit over 6 inches tall, as you can tell he's a little bit taller than Piccolo, and he is taller than Iron Man. Then over here we have the Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Hulk figure, and he stands at 8 inches tall, so I think he's in great scale, the Iron Man and the Hulk figure right there, so anyway, that's comparisons, let's move on to the paint and sculpt, shall we? So, moving on to the paint and sculpt for the Iron Man Mark VI black color version, uh, Tamashi Nations did a phenomenal job with this figure, they nailed the Mark VI armor, they just got it down perfectly. I like the gold that they chose. I like how where they added the black instead of it being red. I just think that's really cool. And there's also silver throughout the figure as well. Just really, really awesome looking figure right here. I think Tamashi Nations did a really great job with this Iron Man figure. Show you a closer look. The head sculpt uh, painted very clean. The sculpt is really, really cool. Uh, for the eyes, they're silver, but then there's a tiny uh, clear plastic piece over them, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the head sculpt's pretty damn cool. And then the arc reactor, it's the same as the eyes. Uh, it's silver under, and then there's a uh, clear plastic piece over it. And they have a thin uh, line of like gold going around it, which is really, really cool. I mean, really, really awesome looking figure right here. Got a little... Uh, Painted uh, silver right there, same right here with the gold also. It's really cool looking. Get the gold uh, on the arms and a little bit of silver and then black down there. And then the joint and there is a uh, goldish color. I think the back looks cool how the spine is. I mean, that's pretty cool looking right there. That's a really, really dope figure. And the feet are die-cast metal, so that is actually really cool that Tamashii Nations includes that in the figure. They're really cool looking, looks like bolts right there. It's a really dope figure. If you don't have this Iron Man figure, definitely pick it up, either this one or the uh, red and gold version. It doesn't matter, they're both the same, just different colors. Just awesome looking figure right here. Tamashii Nations really did an incredible job with this figure. The paint is nice and clean. The sculpt on the figure is just amazing. It just looks like the Mark VI Iron Man armor, and I think Tamashii Nations did a great job with it. Anyway, let's move on to the articulation and wrap the review up. Alrighty, so for Iron Man's articulation, his head can look up about that much, but then with the neck, it could go back a little bit further, which is really good. It could look down about that much. It will get hindered by uh, the chest piece right there. Swivels left and right, and it has a great uh, pivot right there. Also, there's a neck articulation, so you get great articulation out of there, too. For the torso, there's three points of articulation. There's one right here. Then there's a uh, middle one right here. And then there's the lower waist one right there. They all uh, go forward and back. They all pivot, and they all swivel. So with all of them articulated, he can go back about that much, which is really good. Then you could go forward about that much, which is also really good. Like I said, they all swivel, and then they all get the uh, some great pivot out of there as well. So you have a great torso articulation with this Iron Man figure. 
And then for the arms, uh, these shoulder pad things are on a hinge, so they go up and down. They won't hinder the shoulder articulation. He has that really cool uh, armpit joint right there. The shoulders go up about that much, which is actually pretty good. They go up and down. They can spin in a full 360. He has the bicep swivel right there. He has double jointed elbows that bend in all the way. And then this little piece, you can move it back and forth to position it better, which is pretty cool. And then this piece on the hand, uh, it's hinged, so it won't uh, prevent uh, hinder articulation like when you move the wrist around, so that's cool. And the wrist is just on a ball joint, so you could swivel it and move it all around, so that's pretty cool. Some good articulation at the wrist. And for the legs, you got to be careful. Like usual with Tomashi Nations, you could pop the joint out right there. Kick forward about that much, but then it will get hindered by this piece right here and uh, this piece up over there. So we can kick forward about that much, almost 90 degrees, which is pretty good. Goes back about that much, which is pretty good. And then it kicks out to the side, which is pretty good also. And then you can get some swivel up at the top here, and then also at this part as well. He has double jointed knees that bend pretty much all the way in, which is pretty good. And for the ankle, it could bend. This ankle could go down about that much, and then up about that much. This piece around here is softer, so it won't hinder too much articulation. You also get the swivel, the ankle pivot, and then he has toe articulation. So this Iron Man figure has probably some of the best articulation, if you ask me. The legs are a little hindered. Like they, you don't get as much leg articulation, but it's still great leg articulation. This Iron Man figure has probably one of the best Iron Man figures uh, out of all the Iron Man figures. One of the best articulation for Iron Man. But um, I definitely highly recommend this Iron Man figure if you're an Iron Man fan. This is definitely the figure you need to get for your collection. Personally, this is my favorite six-inch scale Iron Man figure that that is around right now. Uh, it has great articulation. It comes with some great accessories and comes with a lot of accessories too. Also, the paint and sculpt is just amazing. Tamashi Nations just did an incredible job with this figure, and you should definitely get it for your collection. You can get the the black and gold one, which is this one here, or you can get the red and gold one, which is uh, costs a little bit more money. This one's sixty-five. The red and gold is around like a hundred bucks. But uh, if you guys want to get your figures and collectibles, head over to AgelessGeeks.com or you can join the Ageless Geeks Facebook page. Also, if you live in California, hit up Frank and Sons. Check out booth number 632. That's Alex's booth, the Ageless Geeks booth, and you can get uh, your figures and collectibles there for great prices. Anyway, guys, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Iron Man Black and Gold version. Hope you guys enjoy my review. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can go beep yourself. And just to let everybody know, my next reviews will be the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Vegito figure and also the reissued Teen Gohan figure and also the Figure Arts Darth Vader figure. Alright everybody, I'll see you later! <laughs>